Our meditation today is entitled, A Table Prepared Just for Me, taken from Psalm 23, verse 5, which says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Welcome again, my friends, to our brief moments of meditating on God's Word. This is Sam Dorilio, a deacon of Manila Baptist Church. First, let us come to the Lord in prayer. Our Almighty God, as we approach your throne of grace, again we plead for your wisdom and will to relieve us from the onslaught of this dreaded coronavirus, to remind us that in the end, you are still the God who saves. In Jesus' name, Amen. This verse starts addressing the Lord in the second person, thou or you. This is a departure from verses 1 to 3, which was in the third person. Actually, the psalmist started using the second person in verse 4 when he said, For thou art with me, etc., up to the end of the chapter. David used the third person pronoun in the first three, three verses because he was talking to the reader about his shepherd and testifying of the Lord's goodness, care, and provision. He wanted his readers to share his experience with the shepherd, restoring his soul and the joy of his salvation. Having testified of the Lord to others, he would now want to express his praise and thanksgiving by addressing the Lord himself and acknowledge his complete dependence on him. How did the Lord prepare a table before him? In those times, the best grazing lands were mostly found in the uplands called Mesa. Now Mesa is Spanish for table. Perhaps these uplands resemble tables so much so that the hymn, Higher Ground, speaks of heaven's table land. Before bringing their sheep to the table land, the shepherds would prepare it by scouting in advance for predators. Then they would clear the land of harsh gooses and mark the location of pits and holes. Only when the table is ready as green pasture land would they send in their flock for grazing. Then, although there may be wolves or enemies in their presence, the sheep can feed in peace because their shepherd is near. So it is with us. We could never be sure that no enemies surround us at work, at school, or in whatever situation we may be. But the Lord will prepare a table for us, and we can dine to our heart's content. As we are partaking of the Lord's bounty, can you imagine how our enemies would feel seeing us enjoying ourselves in the company of the brethren headed by our Lord? Our enemies may squirm, fret, and envy us, but they could do nothing because we are at the Lord's table. Then while we are at rest, He will anoint our head with oil. There is a kind of fly, the sheep bought fly, that infests sheep by entering the ears or nostrils. Then the fly lays eggs, which eventually turn into larvae and hatch into more flies. The sheep is bothered and rams its head on wood, rocks, or stone, just to get rid of the fly. Some sheep are killed in the process, and the rest are left with cuts bruises, and lumps on, the, on their head. When the shepherd anoints the sheep, what a relief a drop of oil must be. God's anointing will heal not only our physical wounds, but also our souls. Then the Lord will fill our cup. He will fill it with his nectar of blessings, his drink of deliverance. He will quench our thirst till we want no more. But the Lord's blessing will not end as He fills our cups. He often gives us more than we need. When the disciples fed the 5,000 men with five loaves of bread and two fish, 
there were twelve baskets of food left over. When Elisha took the widow to get and borrow all the empty pots she could find and fill them with what little oil she had, the oil didn't stop pouring until every pot was filled. Let us dine at the table of the Lord and fill our cups today. God bless. Thank you.